Hello, I'm Michaela, and this is my January wrap up. And I'm gonna get straight into it. And the first thing that I read was Harry Potter and the, the Prisoner of Azkaban. And of course, we all know what this is about. And of course, as always, this got five stars on Goodreads and enjoyed thoroughly. And I also used the audiobook for this from Audible, it was narrated by Stephen Fry which as always is an absolute treat and the next thing that I managed to finish again was Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire which I also used the audiobook for and in this one his name was put into the Goblet of Fire by an unknown person which you find out at the end and he has to compete in three challenges and by the end, he is confronted with a fate that is biggest fear, essentially, and he has to try and do something about that. And again, this one got five stars, as well as the audiobook getting five stars. And the next book that I managed to read was Saga Volume 8 by Fiona Staples and Brian K. Vaughan. And I think I gave this five stars on Goodreads, if I remember, I remember that correctly and of course five stars and unfortunately i have to wait so long for the next one which i don't like because it always takes me ages to get them out again the next thing that i managed to read was goosebumps escape from the carnival of horrors by rl stein and this one was released in the year of birth and of course it got five stars because i remember these from when i was a kid and they're absolutely fabulous and the last thing that i managed to read this month was grandpa's great escape by david williams which is about a young uh, a young boy and his grandpa going on the last adventure before everything goes wrong for his grandpa and his grandpa has dementia i think and the, there is some depth to it. It's really about a child having to deal with the fact that the grandpa isn't well and is forgetful and can't remember basic things. And trying to understand that and things aren't going to be the same again. Um, and even though it's a daft kind of story and it's all fun, there is some t depth in there with that. And these writing and the illustrations remind us of Roald Dahl quite a bit. So there's some nostalgia there because Roald Dahl was obviously in so many of the childhoods as we were all growing up and he was absolutely fantastic. And I think David Williams comes very close to being as good. I think most of his books are pretty good that I've read. And I also read... A Den of Tricks by Bella Forrest, but don't currently have it on my Kindle to show you that copy because I've already removed it from the device so I don't confuse it with other books in the series and I, as I download and read them as I as to come out. And what I'm currently reading at the moment is The Kriegers by Tom Fletcher and this one is about obviously the Kriegers which have abducted the adults in the town that they live in and this young girl has to try and find out why they've been taken and try and get them back again and so far I'm enjoying this and I did enjoy The Christmas Stories by Tom Fletcher too so this one's turning out to be just as good and I look forward to any other works that he plans to do in not like a full length novel format for kids. And I am also currently reading Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, which is my least favourite in the book. But I am wanting to reread the full Harry Potter series and I have to read this very long and very crappy book to do that. And it's only my least favourite because Harry is the most annoying, moaning teenager that I've ever read in my life. Um, and I understand that he's a teenage boy and... He's dealt with things in life, but at the same time, I just want to hit him. I want to slap him in time to get on with it. Life sucks, but suck it up. 
Um, but I will. It, it'll take us a big about three weeks to get through. Simply because it's my least favourite and it takes longer. But hopefully that'll get done done so that sooner rather than later. And I hope to find out what you're currently reading, what you've read in January. And thanks for watching.